Do you know what causes more harm to a royal family? No, it's not the loss of wealth or territory. It's a royal scandal, especially when it involves their women. Scandals involving royal women not only damage the image of the royal family, but become a hot point for media attention. Therefore, in today's video, we'll talk about 12 scandals involving royal women in the recent past. So without further ado, let's begin. At number 12, we've got the scandal involving Queen Letizia of Spain. The scandal centers around the fact that Queen Letizia had an affair with her ex-brother-in-law law, Jamie Del Burgo. Del Burgo, who was previously married to Letizia's sister, Telma Ortiz, claims that their romantic involvement continued even after Letizia married King Philippe in 2004. The affair reportedly rekindled during a trip to New York in 2011. King Philippe was apparently aware of Letizia's infidelity in real time, as her bodyguards were obliged to report her whereabouts. The revelations left Philippe crushed and destroyed, plunging him into a state of emotional turmoil. Despite all this, the couple has maintained a public facade of unity, celebrating their 20th wedding anniversary and appearing together at public events. The scandal has divided public opinion in Spain. While some view Letizia as a headstrong and defiant figure, others criticize her for the alleged betrayal. Despite the sensational nature of the allegations, the opinion of the Spanish people has not overwhelmingly turned against her. The media has extensively covered the scandal with multiple books and articles delving into the details of the affair. The scandal has exacerbated existing conflicts with the Spanish royal family. Reports suggest that King Philippe and Queen Letizia are now living separate lives, merely keeping up appearances in public. Regardless Regardless of all these, Queen Letizia remains focused on her role as a mother and a royal. At number 11, we've got the scandal involving Sarah Ferguson, Duchess of York, during her separation from Prince Andrew. Sarah Ferguson was photographed having her toes caressed by another man on a beach in St. Tropez. The incident occurred while she was staying at the Windsors at Balmoral, negotiating the terms of her separation and future as a duchess. The photos were published by the Daily Mirror in 1992, leading to her estrangement from the royal family for many years. However, it was not enough for her. In 2010, Sarah Ferguson was caught on video accepting a bribe of $40,000 from an undercover reporter in exchange for offering access to her ex-husband, Prince Andrew. She also negotiated a future payment of $640,000. The scandal led to severe financial troubles and a public apology from Ferguson, who admitted to being in a desperate and out-of-control state at the time. Following the toe caress scandal, Sarah Ferguson relinquished her HRH title and restyled her name to Sarah, Duchess of York. She officially divorced Prince Andrew in 1996, but retained her title. Despite the divorce, she has appeared at various royal events with her daughters, including Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding in 2018 and Queen Elizabeth II's funeral in 2022. Despite these scandals, Sarah Ferguson has remained a confidant for Prince Andrew and has defended his character in the press. Next, we've got the scandal involving Prince Stephanie of Monaco. In 1998, Princess Stephanie gave birth to their third child, Camille Gottlieb, at Princess Grace Hospital Center. Initially, Stephanie did not identify the father on the birth certificate, leading to widespread speculation. It was later acknowledged by Camille herself that her father is Jean Raymond Gottlieb, who was Princess Stephanie's head of security at the time. This secrecy allowed Stephanie Stephanie and her daughter to live away from the relentless public gaze. Due to her parents never marrying, Camille has no succession rights to the Monegasque throne. This aspect of the scandal highlights the strict succession laws of Monaco and the implications of royal relationships on lineage and inheritance. Despite the scandal, Princess Stephanie has continued to live her life facing various challenges and controversies, including her relationships and family dynamics. Her decision to keep Camille's paternity a secret was strategic, allowing her to protect her daughter from the public spotlight. Princess Stephanie has remained active in philanthropy and public service. She is the president of several associations, including the Monaco Youth Center and Princess Stephanie Activity Center, and is an honorary board member of the Princess Grace Foundation, United States. Despite all the scandals, Princess Stephanie's journey through love and life has been marked by twists and turns, scandals, and triumphs. At number 9, we've got the scandal involving Princess Tessie of Luxembourg. Tessie Antony, a formal army corporal from humble beginnings, met Prince Louis of Luxembourg when they were both 19 years old. They married the 29th of September 2006, shortly after the birth of their first son, Gabriel Michael Louis Roni, Roni de Nassau. Upon their marriage, Prince 
Louis renounced his succession rights to the throne but retained his title. Marriage began to deteriorate in the summer of 2016, leading to their separation announcement the 18th of January 2017. Divorce proceedings took place in London and were finalized the 4th of April 2019. During the divorce, Tessie represented herself and fought for her financial survival, which included a battle over Kensington home where she had lived. Upon their divorce, Tessie lost her titles of Princess of Luxembourg, Bourbon Parma, and of Nassau. The Grand Ducal Court's decision to strip her of these titles was a significant blow. Reflecting the royal family's disapproval, Tessie faced allegations of gold digging, which she sought to rebut during the divorce proceedings. Following the divorce, Prince Louis was ordered to pay child support for their two sons, Prince Gabriel and Prince Noah. The financial arrangements were a contentious issue, with Tessie initially challenging the court's ruling, but eventually deciding not to appeal. Tessie Anthony has since moved on from the scandal. She's now married to Swiss businessman Frank Floresel. Next, we've got the scandal involving Princess Mako of Japan. Princess Mako renounced her royal title by marrying her long-term commoner boyfriend, Kei Kimura, on October 26, 2021. Under the imperial household law, female members of the royal family must relinquish their royal status upon marrying a commoner. This law reflects Japan's traditional views on royal succession and the role of women in the imperial family. The wedding had even led to unprecedented protest marches in Tokyo made up of largely conservative and middle-aged people who feel so strongly about the marriage that they brandish placards that read stop the cursed marriage and no Kimura. Also, the couple's relationship faced significant public scrutiny due to a financial scandal involving Kimura's mother and her former fiance who claimed that she had not repaid a loan used to finance Kimura's education. This controversy led to widespread public disapproval and media frenzy, further complicating their union. The intense media scrutiny and public criticism took a toll on Princess Mako's mental health. She was diagnosed with complex post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, due to the years of speculation and slurs about her relationship. In a break from tradition, Princess Mako turned down a government payment of approximately $1.3 million. Despite the seemingly broad hostility of the union, there are some who still wish the couple well. She now lives with her husband in New York. At number seven, we've got the scandal involving Oksana Volodina of Malaysia. Oksana Volvodina, a Russian beauty queen and former Miss Moscow, married Sultan Mohammed V of Kalantan, who was the 15th Engde Partuan Agong, or King of Malaysia at the time. Their marriage, which took place in a secret Islamic ceremony in Kalatan on June 7th, 2018, was met with shock and unease in conservative Malaysia due to the significant age gap and Oksana's past as a lingerie model. The marriage quickly unraveled, leading to a divorce in 2019, just a year after their wedding. Sultan Muhammad V raised doubts about the paternity of their son, Leon, born in May 2019. This led to a public dispute, with Oksana demanding a DNA test to prove the child's patronage. Oksana claimed that she had to pawn her wedding ring to cover medical bills during her pregnancy and has been involved in legal battles for increased child support. She has demanded substantial financial support, including a London mansion and a monthly allowance. The marriage and subsequent divorce caused a significant backlash in Malaysia, leading to Sultan Muhammad V's abdication in January 2019, a historic first for the country. As of the latest updates, Oksana continues to live in London, pursuing legal action for better financial support for her son. On the other hand, Sultan Mohammed V remains the ruler of Kalatan with a new wife. Next, we've got the scandal involving Chao Kong Pra Sininat Wangvajira Pakti of Thailand. Sininat Wangvajira Pakti was appointed as a royal noble consort by King Maha Vajira Longkorn in July 2019, marking the first time in nearly a century that a royal consort was officially recognized in Thailand. However, just a few months later, in October 2019, she was stripped of her titles and military ranks. The palace accused her of disloyalty ambition and attempting to elevate herself to the same status as a queen. This demotion was part of a larger pattern of the king's relationships where splits from the king have historically not ended well for his partners. Following her demotion, all images of Sinanette were erased from the palace website and her unofficial Instagram account was shut down. She disappeared from public view and her whereabouts remain unknown for a significant period. Reports later suggest that she had arrived in Germany where the king spends much of the year. In a surprising turn of events, King Vajira Longkorn reinstated Sinanette 
Nina to her former position in August 2020, declaring her untainted and restoring all her titles and ranks as if she had never been stripped of them. This reinstatement occurred amid ongoing anti-government protests in Thailand, which included demands to reduce the king's expanded powers and calls for monarchy reform. Since her reinstatement, Sinead has taken on several public roles and assignments. At number five, we've got the scandal involving Princess Charlene of Monaco. The scandal involving Princess Charlene of Monaco centers around revelations of palace financial secrets and questionable spending. It was revealed that Charlene had spent over 16 million in eight years with allegations of hiring servants without proper visas or passports and paying them as little as $100 per day. Additionally, she received an annual allowance of $1.6 million. Also, reports indicate that Princess Charlene tried to flee Monaco three times before her wedding to Prince Albert. First attempt occurred after news broke that Prince Albert had a love child conceived during his relationship with Charlene. The second and third attempts took place in Monaco, with one during the 2010 Grand Prix, resulting in her passport being confiscated by Prince Albert's entourage. The third attempt happened two days before the wedding, where she booked a one-way ticket to South Africa, but was intercepted and persuaded to stay. The financial scandal has led to internal strife within the palace. She also wrongfully influenced the Monaco's property market. Along with it, she also sided with the palace's inner circle, including Prince Albert's advisors and Monaco's most powerful real estate developer, to cause all the damages to the property market. She made public return to duties in spring of 2022, and she has carried out engagements with Albert, their children, and alone. Next, we've got the scandal involving Princess Sophia, Duchess of Varmland. In Sweden. At the age of 20, Princess Sophia, then Sophia Helkfest, posed for a men's magazine called Slits, wearing only bikini bottom and a live boa constrictor around her upper body. The photo shoot led to her being voted Miss Slits 2004 by the magazine's readers. When her relationship with Prince Carl Philip was made public in 2010, the publication Express and republished these photos, causing significant controversy. The republishing of these photos led to widespread media coverage and public scrutiny. Many questions of her suitability as a royal bride due to her past as a glamour model and reality television contestant. Despite the controversy, Prince Carl Philip's marriage proposal came as a complete surprise to Sophia, and the couple went on to marry in 2015. The initial reaction to the photo shoot was largely negative, with many in the public and media questioning Sophia's past and its implications for her role in the royal family. However, over time, Sophia has managed to reshape her public image through various charitable activities and public service. Princess Sophia has addressed her past career, stating that it is part of her history and that she's moved on from it. She has expressed no regrets, emphasizing that her experiences have shaped her as a person. Princess Sophia continues to be active and a member of the Swedish royal family. At number three, we've got the scandal involving Princess Haya bint Hussein of Jordan. Princess Haya, born to the former King Hussein and former Queen Alia of Jordan, fled Dubai in 2019 with her two children. The reason for her leaving Dubai was that she discovered her husband, Sheikh Mohammed, previously forcefully took control of their daughters, Sheikha Latifa and Sheikha Shamsa. She has chosen Britain as her shelter, but she still received intimidating messages. She took professional help to protect herself and her children. The legal battle between Princess Haya and Sheikh Mohammed have become one of the most publicized divorce cases in recent years. The British High Court ruled that Sheikh Mohammed had caused multiple unnecessary problems for Princess Haya. He also snooped her phone and those of her legal team. All these findings have helped Prince Haya to win the case. In December 2021, the High Court ordered Sheikh Mohammed to pay a record $708 million in settlement to Princess Haya, making it the highest divorce settlement ever awarded by a British court. The court granted the princess sole responsibility for the couple's two children, limiting Sheikh Mohammed's contact with them um, to phone calls. Calls. The scandal has significantly ruined Sheikh Mohammed's international reputation. Princess Haya has embarked on a new chapter of her life, reportedly purchasing a rural hotel in Wales to convert to a new home. Next, we've got the scandal involving Princess Michael of Kent. Princess Michael of Kent has been involved in several radically insensitive incidents. In 2017, she wore a black moor brooch to the Queen's Christmas lunch, which was attended by Meghan Markle, who is biracial. This act was widely criticized as racially insensitive. Additionally, in 2004, she allegedly told a group of African-American diners at a New York restaurant to go back to their colonies, a statement that sparked significant outrage. In 2014, she claimed that animals do not have rights because they do not pay taxes, have bank accounts, or vote, which angered animal rights activists. She has also made disparaging remarks about
about other members of the royal family, including calling Princess Diana uneducated and bitter. Further allegations of racism have surfaced, including claims that she once owned black sheep named Venus and Serena, after the famous tennis players. In response to the 2004 incident, she denied making the racist remark and claimed she had previously pretended to be African, which only added to the controversy. Princess Michael has issued apologies for some of her actions, such as the Black Amour brooch incident, expressing that she was very sorry and distressed for wearing that piece of jewelry. The scandals involving Princess Michael of Kent have led to significant public outrage and criticism. However, she continues to be involved in charitable works and philanthropic endeavors. And at number one, we've got the scandal involving Princess Delphine of Belgium. Delphine Boyle discovered at the age of 17 that her biological father was Prince Albert, who later became King Albert II of Belgium. She had known Albert her entire life as a close friend of her mother, Baroness Sybil, de Salis Longchamps. Her parents had an 18-year romance that began in the 1960s, despite being unhappy in their respective marriages. The revelation of Delphine's paternity led to a significant and public time of media attention. After an unauthorized biography of Queen Paola mentioned an unnamed illegitimate daughter of Albert's, this revelation ended any semblance of a normal life for Delphine, as she became a target for the press and faced public scrutiny and criticism. Delphine launched a legal battle in 2013 to officially be recognized as Albert's daughter, which lasted seven years. The court ordered DNA tests in 2020 confirmed King Albert II as her biological father, leading to her formal recognition as a daughter and the granting of her title of Princess Delphine of saxe coburg gotha The scandal led to significant public and media scrutiny. Delphine was often blamed for weakening the monarchy and faced intense gossip and criticism. The public reaction was mixed, with some people commending her efforts to seek recognition and others viewing her actions as anti-royalist. She continues to be involved in philanthropic activities and promotes good art. And with this, we wrap this video. We hope you enjoy the video. If you find our channel interesting, then subscribe to it. Thank you. See you in the next video.